If you're a photography business, this is how we help you manage your bookkeeping with QuickBooks. First, we help you figure out which plan in QuickBooks is best for you. Photographers can choose from four main QuickBooks categories. They are Easy Start, Essential, Plus, or Advanced. The Easy Start is for those who want to do the bookkeeping on their own without the help of an accountant or bookkeeper. This plan allows you to manage your photography business with invoices, estimates, expense tracking, and payment collections. The Essential Plan includes everything in the Easy Start with the additions of help from bookkeepers and accountants, as well as bill tracking. From our experience, this plan is sufficient for most photography businesses. For those who want to manage projects with customers and need automation features, then the Plus or Advanced Plan may be best. These plans are usually for well-established photography businesses with many moving parts. Our bookkeeping firm typically starts clients with the essential plan, then advance them as needed as their business grows. Once you choose a plan, there are five main features that we optimize in order to allow your photography business to run smoothly within the QuickBooks software. For those with the plus or advanced plans, we first enable classes and locations tracking. Once turned on, you can categorize transactions by projects or even photography phases. Or if you have multiple locations, you can categorize the transactions by the location of each business that you're running. We also turn on the product stock share services feature for those who want to track the quantity and price or rate of certain inventory. Once this feature is turned on, you can add categories for photo albums or books or even photo frames. These items are directly linked to the inventory of your QuickBooks and allow you to track them to let you know when a restock of an item is needed. Next is the activation of progress invoicing. This feature is available for all QuickBooks plans. It basically allows you to create invoices from estimates that your client has agreed to. The fourth optimization feature we will set up for your QuickBooks account is the Reminders feature. Now this ensures that any invoices are paid on time and automatic reminders are sent to clients with overdue invoices. And lastly, for those who want to use projects in the photography business, the project feature will be turned on to allow you to track profitability with individual projects that are linked to your customers. Once these features have been optimized, we can now start creating categories or chart of accounts specific to your photography business. These include the assets, liabilities, income, expenses, and equity accounts. These items will help you organize your financial statements so you can make better financial decisions. All right, let's now create invoices and estimates for your photography business. The first thing to do when creating an invoice or estimate is to create an invoice or estimate template that is specific to your business. QuickBooks allows you to choose from multiple templates or you could simply use the default template for your invoices or estimates. You can adjust each template to fit your company's aesthetic, as well as draft emails that are specifically crafted for each invoice or estimate that is sent to your clients. Once you're satisfied with your templates, you could start creating products and services to use for your invoices or estimates. These products and services are directly linked to your income account and will need to be selected when you're creating an invoice or estimate before you send it to the client. There are three options for creating products and services within QuickBooks. These are non-inventory services and inventory products. If you plan on tracking your inventory, choose the inventory product option when creating products and services. If you don't plan on tracking your inventory, choose the non-inventory or service option when creating your products or services. Once this is completed, you can now use the software to create and send your invoices or estimates. Doing this is very simple within QuickBooks. First click the new button, then click invoice or estimates under the customer section. Next, enter the client's details, add the products or services within the products or services section, adjust the quantity and rate as needed, then add sales tax if applicable. Once you're happy with the invoice or estimate, you can send it directly to your clients via email. 
When the invoice is sent, clients can pay directly through the invoice link using credit cards, debit cards, or bank transfers. This feature can be turned on in the company settings of the software under Payments. This feature works hand-in-hand -hand with payment reminders, which can be turned on to remind clients on late payments. Once a payment has been made to an invoice, QuickBooks automatically matches it to the invoice in real time, which saves you a lot of time and also reduces any errors in that case. Now, if your photography business collects sales tax, you can accurately track it within the software as well. This can be done by navigating to the Taxes tab, then select Set up Sales Taxes. QuickBooks will guide you through adding a business location and determining the appropriate tax agencies based on your province or territory. Once your sales taxes have been set up for your photography business, you can now start adding it to your invoices and bills. Speaking of bills, let's talk about how you could track and manage expenses and bills in QuickBooks Online so that you can stay audit ready. There are a few ways in which you can track bills and expenses for your photography business. QuickBooks has a receipt and bill manager to help you track your receipts and bills. You can import bills or receipts in a few ways. You can drag and drop them directly from your desktop into the QuickBooks software. You can use your phone to take a picture of the receipts, which will then import it into the software or you can send the receipt or bill to an email that is specific to your QuickBooks account. Something to keep in mind is that the expenses feature comes with all the QuickBooks plans. However, the bill feature is only available for the plus, essential, and advanced plans. Once we have the bills and expenses feature set up, we can now start connecting your bank account to QuickBooks. This allows us to pull transactions directly from the bank that you're using to run your business into QuickBooks so that they can be accurately categorized. You can either do this yourself or you can hire us to do it for you. Now, for those photography businesses that work with projects, you can create projects in QuickBooks and link them to customers in order to track income, expenses, and profitability for each client or design job. To do this, start by setting up a new project under the Projects tab. Next, link the project to an existing customer. In order to track an invoice or a specific expense or bill for that specific project, all you have to do is make sure that you select the project name under the customer name for that specific bill, invoice, or expense. Once you do this, QuickBooks will automatically update your profit margins and give you real-time insights into project performance for that specific client. If your photography business used another software for its operations and you want to use QuickBooks to manage bookkeeping expenses and taxes, you can do this also. Fortunately, QuickBooks allows for connections for some photography softwares. However, if connection with your software is not possible with QuickBooks, our team can import data from those softwares into QuickBooks directly so that you can track sales within QuickBooks. If all this seems a lot, we are happy to help. You can book a discovery call with us by visiting paperlessbooks.ca to see how we can best serve your photography business. However, if you want to take on the bookkeeping yourself, here is a basic task schedule for your photography business. On a daily basis, you want to record transactions such as expenses for materials, design, services, or any other business costs. This generally involves categorizing the transactions that come in through your connected bank feeds. It may also involve importing receipts and bills into the software so they can be matched to the transactions coming in from the bank feeds. On a monthly basis, you want to reconcile the bank and credit card statements with your records that you categorize on a daily basis, and you want to make sure that each transaction matches what is on the bank statements. This is also a good time to print all your financial reports and review them to make sure that you're on the right track for your business. Another monthly task is to prepare and file sales taxes in order to keep compliance in check. On an annual basis, you want to wrap up your year's financial activities and set the stage for the upcoming year. This can include tax filing, review the year's overall financial performance, 
a meeting with an accountant to ensure that everything is in order for tax reporting. You may also want to look over your budget to make sure that your goals align with your long-term growth strategies and update any financial tools or software so you can keep your accounting methods efficient. That's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns about how to run your photography business with QuickBooks, you can visit paperlessbooks.ca to book a free discovery call or put your questions in the comment sections below and I'll be sure to reply to you. See you on the next video.